All right, let's take a look at two variable stats and two variable statistical graphs. So we'll look at scatter plots. Let's go back into our list two. So we're going to go uh, one, three, five, seven, and nine. That will be my X list, my Y lists. I will go over. Uh, let's make that three. Seven, ten, uh, thirteen, and let's go with uh, sixteen. Should give us uh, something straight looking there. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of calling these lists X and Y, so I'll call these sublist alpha X for list one and sublist two. Give it the alpha Y. You can give it uh, more specific names later if you'd like. You can name it more. Uh, I think you fit like five or six letters across. So let's make a graph. Going to take a look at graph one. So we're going to set that up. Scatter plot. List one with list two. I'm going to turn on the graph link, the color link there. So I'll turn on the color link. Exit. Now I'm going to want to look at residual plots so I'm going to have to take a look at my setup. My residuals are not turned on and also notice that my window is set to automatic. If you want to do any kind of zooming or changing of the window make sure that your window setting for stat is set to manual if you want to make any changes otherwise automatic will override it. So I'm going to do uh, residuals will be from list number three is where they're going to go. Exit everything else should be okay. Another thing you might want to look at eventually is if you look down, look at your angles. If you're doing any kind of scatter plots or um, regression, make sure that your mode matches, for angles, matches what you're trying to do. So if you're trying to do something with um, angles in degree mode, make sure you're in degree mode. Otherwise, you get a, a graph that doesn't look right or you won't get a graph that just doesn't fit. So I'll exit out of there. I've already set the graph up, so I'll just press graph. Uh, not a whole lot happened right now because of um, I haven't really done anything with the color. So I'm press shift F5 or number 5 to format. I'm going to go with 9, and that will color link it so that my colors will now match. I'm going to go ahead and calculate a regression, X regression. Press F2 again, there it is. Copy it and then draw it. There you have it. Alright, so let me exit out of here and take a look at residuals. We should have a list that's residuals now. That's in list 3. So now what I want to do is make a residual plot. So I'm going to set it up. I'm going to change this to graph number 2. Again, it's a scatter plot. This time it's going to be list 3. So list number 3. Execute that. Again, I'm going to turn on the color link. Exit. All right, I want to take a look at both graphs at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, and I'm going to select that both graphs are turned on at the same time. And then I will press draw. So there's your second one. Now the second one doesn't have the colors on yet, so let me do that again. I'll press shift, format. And I want to toggle down to stack graph 2. And I'm going to go with number 9. There it is. Now if I go into define graph, I've already put the equation in there. It's just a matter of go ahead and draw it. So that when I do a trace, I can do things like, okay, there's my first point. Actual. Predicted residual. Toggle over. Here's my residual. Here's what my actual was. That's what my predicted was. So it's a good way to bring home the fact that your actual is 7. You predicted 6.6, .6, giving you a residual of 0.4. So it's a nice way to link that all together, and the colors do a great job with that. Actual predicted residual. 
toggle over actual predicted residual that one's going to have a residual of zero again really nice way to bring that home Let me exit out of that you might come back now you've got everything in the same way you've got your uh, what your residual is you can get your actual or your predictor to come up as well if you wanted to do that in a list but that's a different lesson for a different day so take a look in the few minutes I'm going to come back with and do a couple of other videos. Alright, take care.